I feel like a total cow. So I'm gonna paint the cow. We start off with yellow. I always like to start with my lightest colors first. So now we got some blues and a little bit of like a peach color. You can kind of see the cow a little bit better. Alright, so now she has a peach color and I think the next color is going to be like a tan color. So now she has light brown, well, like, it's like tan, white and yellow. Uh, I don't think it's very visible, but she's coming along. I can start to see her more clearly now. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Well, today I'm painting, well, I've, you've already seen it because this is like at the middle of the video, but I'm painting a cow just simply because I've gained a lot of weight and I feel like a cow, heifer to be exact. Just kidding, this is a commission for my, <laughs> this is a commission for my aunt, my aunt Coco. Hi, I love you. But anyway, it's a cow and um, I've never painted a cow, but you know who painted cows? Andy Warhol did cows, Andrew Wyeth did cows, so I feel like cows are not that kitsch. Is that the word kitsch? Kitsch. Kitsch is like, kitsch is like lowbrow. You don't know what lowbrow is? No. Okay, there's fine art, and then there's kitsch and lowbrow art. No? No. Oh my god. Well, anyway, I'm paid to this cow. But uh, it's going to be more white. I'm just adding color, then I'm going to take them away. So it's going to be very pale, lots of white. Like the colors, the blues, and things like that will be just appearing through the white. Huh. I'm a huge fan of white paintings. So this will be a white painting. How do you learn how to do this? Do what? That technique. Like, how do you learn how to do that? How to paint? Well, I mean... I wouldn't go over a painting with white, like, then... No, well, this is not done. This is just the first layer. I mean, you have to layer it, relayer it. Sometimes you take back, you add, until you're happy with what you see. Like, right now, all of this is preliminary layers. Like, when I see things that I think look really good, then I won't touch it. Like, for instance, maybe this part right here. This will be shown, because I think this is very nice right here. I like how this... This accidental accidental drips were made, but you'll see. I'll show you later. Like when I see things that I think, oh wow, I really like how that looks, then I won't touch it anymore. But yeah, it won't be as bright as this. It's gonna be more white. Of course, like the features of the cow won't be very dark, but as far as the background, it'll be very white. So stay tuned. What? And who's in your mind when you're painting this cow? Who's <laughs> My midsection. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. I've gained like 10 pounds. I'm going to lose 5 pounds. So maybe you'll eventually not be a heifer anymore. You'll yeah. give birth. <laughs> I give birth every morning. <laughs> Ew. Alright, so keep watching the videos to see how the cow turns out. So now I've lightened the cow up. I added gesso on top of it to make the colors a little bit more muted. Then I'm going to bring some out again and probably take some out. It's just going to a process of give and take until I like what I see. And if there's areas that I particularly like what's going on, then I'll, I won't cover it up anymore or add. I'll just leave as it is. But right now, I took almost everything off. I added just on top of everything. And now it's just time to add more color. See how it looks. So now I started to bring in the color around her mouth, around her eyes. She's coming along pretty good. Great, good, great, great, good. She's gonna look awesome. I added more purples and very light, like a lilac color. I don't know if you can see it. Then. I think, I would say I'm about halfway done. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. She's halfway done. I started to add more color. I think she's, you know, a little bit better off. I don't think this is 
like I see it and then I see it through this lens and it doesn't look the same so I don't know what it's gonna ultimately look like but that's what she looks like right now all right so I had said that it was at halfway point a while back ago I lied I think this right now it's at halfway point I'm very inspired by the artist Andrew Salgado and I want to do some of what he does with her eyes but it's not there yet so this is supposed to be a primarily white painting so I'm adding lots of white I'm actually layering the white acrylic paint uh, it's actually master's touch acrylic paint um, actually all of the paint I'm using is master's master's touch you can find it at Hobby Lobby it's not the most expensive but it works really good for acrylic paint um, once again the eyes they need a lot a lot of work I want there to be various different brush strokes in different color so it's still I think the eyes is what needs the most work and then maybe the ears and the mouth actually all of it I mean <laughs> like I think what the area that needs the least amount of work at this time would be this right there I really just I like that minus the eye um, I like this part right here I'm starting to like what's going on in her mouth and then this is t very muted but it's like I said it's gonna be a white painting so all of this will have more white and the focus will be you know the cow all right so the cow is almost finished uh, I think what I have to rework is her ears especially around this part that part um, her mouth needs a lot of work, and then some of this so it doesn't look like it's dripping so much. Uh, other than that, she's just about finished. So I think in, by the end of this week, it should be done. What do you think? All right, so I think the cow is finally done. Remember, I started painting this because I felt like a cow. All this weight I've put on recently. But anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. The cow is done. Uh, I'm really proud of the way it looks. I've never painted a cow in my life. But uh, my favorite part are her eyes. I don't know if you probably can't see them. Edgar, can you zoom into the eyes? Like get closer. Like it has a lot of little lashes, a lot of spots of color, and the same thing on the other side. Do you like them, Edgar? Mm-hmm. And the ears are also nice, so go ahead and just show the rest of it. Um, the funny thing is that everybody who walks in here wants this cow, but it's already for someone else. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to be painting more cows, which is strange because I never thought I'd be painting cows. <laughs> but anyway, uh, tell me what you think about this cow. Leave your comments on the section below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Adios. I feel more... I like the way the cows smell actually.